All right, here we are. I've been wanting to do a review, comparing these two kayaks for a while, but I wanted to give myself plenty of time to try them out, to use them, and to really test them in, um, in several situations. Now I have been out in rivers, lakes, creeks, fast flowing water, slow flowing water, rivers with shoals on both of these kayaks. I've experienced a lot of stuff, so I think I am ready to give my like kind of review and which one do I like better? Which one would I have to, if I had to choose one to keep and get rid of the other one, which one would it be? And uh, I'm gonna go through it scientifically and um, at least in my opinion, scientifically, and uh, which one is better. But um, I have to say right now, both of these kayaks are awesome. Both of them are river, like dedicated river kayaks, non-pedal drive, made to, uh, to go in skinny water, also made to be able to have a motor and you could go out in a lake and fish anywhere with them, but they're really designed for current, flowing water, drafting shallow, maneuverability in um, like skinnier water, which is exactly the kind of stuff I like to do. Probably won't put a motor on these. Maybe one day if I have, um, if I ever get a motor, maybe put motor on one of them just to go up some rivers. But mainly, these are the two kind of kayaks that I have been looking for, the kind of kayaks that I want to use. So what I want to do is give a quick um, recap of them, what they have, kind of go one to the other, and then I'm going to give you the statistics, the weight, the price, and then what I think, and then a couple other factors, and we'll choose which one it is. Because right now, I don't really know. I like them both. I've been asked a bunch of times, and honestly, I like them both. They both have different things, and what I think is important may be different than what you think is important. So let's quick, really quick, let's go over the Sholey. So here we are, the Crescent Sholey. Uh, I've had this one longer, and maybe I've done a couple more trips in it, but pretty even. So start at the front, we got um, a, a rail up here for Anchor Wizard, you can put them out. Also has this latch, also comes with a, lat, uh, a strap that you can use for pulling it around. I usually put my own rope just for that kind of stuff. Uh, I like this hatch, so it's got a sealed hatch. We went through a lot of rapids and we got just a little bit of water in there. So it stays very dry, you can put stuff in there. And uh, it's got a couple of holes here where you can put fishing rods, but you can only put casting rods and they have to be flexible. So it's not the greatest setup, but there's a lot of videos on changing that out. You can cut this out. You can cut this whole thing out and you have um, hatch access there. So I do like how this is. Usually I throw food and drinks up in here and that way I have them in there and they're not rolling around throughout the day. So we got a little compartment up here. I think it's like for a battery. Um, you can also put your phone right here take a selfie this is one of the things about the Sholey. it's got a place right here for your catch board so it lays flat right here maybe i'll show that later um we got rails on the side cup holder on each side i put an anchor wizard over here i put a rail and i screwed it down and had mine they, they make attachments for those that are kind of coming out you can do the seat has a low and a high setting i never fish in the low setting i mean i really like how easy the seat is to change but also how easy it is to come out. And then when you strap it down, it's just got one strap holding it and it's ready to go. You wanna take it out, you pull that one strap and the whole seat pops out. You can sit on it on the ground if you wanted to. It does have rod holders right here that point out that way where they're not sticking up. I haven't even used those yet because when I'm doing skinny water, most of the time my rods are laying right in front of me. The back access is a little bit small, but you can still put a big black pack in here by comparing it, whenever we go look over at the Bonafide, it's gonna look a little small. Got rails, we do have a hatch here that opens and it is open in there if you wanna store dry bags or you can put one of those little uh, baggies right here. I've seen those. It's set up for um, anchor or drag systems, the way these rails are. And another handle back here also. It's got the uh, places you can mount a motor back here. And on this side with the Anchor Wizard, I ran, I put these on here. I ran a few of them and I'm probably gonna get the anchor wizard mount for the front to go off the straight. Cause I was having it come off the side and it was actually making my kayak tilt a little bit cause it was six pounds of weight hanging off the side there. So I'm gonna get that straight mount. So there it is, uh, really quick rundowns. I'm not giving every single detail, but just the ones that kind of, that I've seen that are important to me on the water. Let's jump over to the Bonafide. RVR 119 and you can tell right away. So let's look at the differences as we look at the Bonafide. It comes with a hole. You can run your 
cord through also has this roll bar for the anchor wizard and i really like this setup very convenient i've used it a bunch it's nice and easy as it rolls down and it's straight front got solid big handles right here it's got this strap for paddles don't pull on that one i've pulled the where's that that one right there i pulled the screw out of it this doesn't open as far as i know but it's made for like running wires and stuff like that if you want to get into there this is a strap right here that you can use for pulling with it's very strong i've been putting a cooler right here and strapping it down so you have a lot of room in the front but no hatch like over there but you do have this hatch right here bonafide has these a lot on most of their kayaks and it's a dry box right now electronics can mount here with a battery inside there and then you you know drill holes at the bottom for the whatever the thing's called that lets you look into the water and um, we got rails on the side let's see we got the catch board on this one goes from here this one's a little lower to this one over here is a little higher and your rods can lay flat i've done this i'll have three or four rods laying flat with my catch board over the top so i can lay my rods down put the catch board over the top of them to pick take a picture of my fish when i'm in a tournament also a rail right here whereas on the sholey you kind of got to move all your rods out of the way to take a picture of a fish if you're using it for tournament stuff if you're not doing a tournament or anything that's usually not a big deal it's got big strong handles that are bolted in one that these in the back for like moving the kayak this thing you know it's also made for moving it over terrain i like all the room i have underneath here um right now i don't know if it, see mine came with these i don't know if they all come with that but i don't have a cup holder and i have to have a cup holder so what I might do is, oh, I might just put a couple right there. That way it's out of the way. Maybe right on the edge here. Also, you could use it for just um, putting lures in. This seat is one height that doesn't adjust. Um, you can slide it up and down. But when you remove it, you take the, you unscrew these and don't lose these. The, these can get lost. I don't know if it's supposed to have a grommet to keep it from coming all the way out. So um, be careful not to lose your handles whenever you do take the seat off, but it's really easy to take the seat out when you want to take it out. I still have this anchor wizard over here and that's for the front. And I had one back here and I, I actually took it off and put it on the sholey over there, but this one was running to the back. This line is for the back. So I can throw another line right in there. It's really, it's open, comes out right here. All right, let's get to the back and we do have more room back here. I like that. It's a little more open. I set a box here and I still have room right here, or you could put a battery right here if you want to do a battery pack there, but a good amount of room, but there, these hatches, there's no internal hatch. So if you're looking for storing like dry bags or stuff, there's not really, there's nothing internally. Got these little, you know, little places here, shopping down there. I like this bungee setup. It's already got the little hooks for like black packs, but I put a milk crate on there and I strap this down with a milk crate. Put these down on it and it holds it down fine once again the back we got very big strong handles crescent sholey rvr you can see the difference this is the front see how that's rounded right there this one's a little sharper but it's also flat right here so they have a flat spot where if you're up on a log it's like stable and in the back on this one just more rounded to kind of glide through the water. Let's go down on the Sholey. Uh, a lot of weep holes. So all, both these kayaks drain really fast. And then at the back, we also get to a more of a sharp point right here. Let's look at it down the side. So once again, if you if you come over a log it's a, it, and you're sitting stuck right here on a rock or something, it can feel a little tippy and that's probably the thing you most worried about, or I would most be concerned. Like if I'm going over something, I get stuck right here. You got to be careful not to like uh, lean because there's nothing. You've got this big open, big point right here. And the RVR is different. And that's going to lead to it being, I think, more stable where they, they got a couple of whatever these things are called. And just to kind of, I don't know. I don't know if I need, need those. I don't, I don't really care. That one does, the Sholey doesn't have those and they don't make them on crest and stuff to kind of wear a wear spot but i don't i mean i don't know how much you need it um those things are made pretty thick but you can see this one's wider and it's it's flat back here 
where if you're on something, you're not gonna be as tippy. And then you can see how the, it got like more of a barge sides where this one is more rounded. So this one, I, I feel, that's why I feel like this one glides a little bit better through the water, cuts through the water just a little bit easier, but this one's gonna have a little bit more stability on it. So here they are. One last look over them. You know, what do you like better? I would love to hear things that you maybe like better. Maybe if you already have one or you've tried them out, you're like, I like this more than that. Do you like the hatch more than the open area? Do you like this little hatch? The Sholey has a opening in the back to get into internal, even though it's small. The Bonafide doesn't. The, um, let's see here. What's a couple other differences? The way the cup holders are a little bit different. The room in the front, like for my feet, is about the same. Uh, the room in the back, though, I like a little bit more room on the Bonafide than I do on the Sholey. So um, let's go over the statistics for both of them and try to come up with a winner. Now that we've had a quick look over both the kayaks, if you're not familiar with them, if you want to see more, there's lots more videos out there, but this is just my quick take and my thoughts on them and just the things that I think are important. Like I didn't mention, there's a lot, probably a lot more things on these kayaks that if you're looking for, you might have to look at, but let's, let's go back and forth. So RVR 1649, Sholey 1599. This one's $50 more. RVR 11 foot nine inches, the Sholey 11 foot 10 inches one inch longer. Capacity, the RVR is 425 pound capacity and the Sholey is 450 pound capacity. Now those those um, things are not big factors and basically they're dead even. Um, width, this one's 35 inches long, the RVR is, the Sholey's 34 inches long. So basically everything I've said right now is like even. It's a very even comparison. Now we're gonna get into the things that I feel like is things that make it uh, better than the other one. And when I'm looking for a kayak or one of these river kayaks, I want it lightweight. I want it um, easy to get into place. I also want to be comfortable. I uh, also want to be able to fish out of it. So, you know, there's give and take. And um, I got one, two, three, four, five. We got five things that we're going to judge it off of. And it comes down to which one has more out of five. So let's go with weight. Now, weight isn't a big difference, but it is uh, eight pounds difference from what they say. Now, sometimes they're, this, they could be a little bit off, but RVR, 85 pounds. Sholey, 77. So check one for the Sholey right now. Just a, It's not a big difference, but a little bit less weight and um, easier to get into some of my tight access places. So just a little bit of weight, but that, makes, that does make a difference. Let's go comfort. I've been out on both of these for six, seven, eight hours. Uh, I've done several long day trips. And I would have to say comfort goes to the RVR. The seat is a little bit wider, a little bit more comfortable. And just being in all day, yeah, I, I just, I mean, it ain't a lot, but I'm gonna give it to the RVR. Just being in it all day, fishing out all day, I'll, I feel a little bit more comfortable on the RVR. Comfort also, stability, and that might also go into comfort, but let's go stability and um, just initial stability when you're in it and you're, you stand up or you move around, you can definitely feel a little bit more stable with the Bonafide from what from my experience. So uh, that's two for the Bonafide, one for the Sholey. So I just, I feel a little bit more stable. I can stand up and fish out of both of them. I've stood up and paddled out of both of them, no problem. But when I, when I go stand up and, I, and I'm in here, I can feel just a little bit more stable, a little bit more comfortable. So a little more stable, a little more comfortable, lighter weight. So that's probably gonna add something over here. So let's go to maneuverability. When you're turning it around in rapids or you're going paddling upstream or you need to maneuver because you can see a rock ahead and you gotta, you gotta, you're going and you gotta be able to maneuver. The Sholey, that's probably the biggest jump. I like it for maneuverability. Now obviously both these kayaks are a lot more maneuverable than like my Old Town 120, which is, you know, heavier and not and a lot more stable, but not made for the rivers like these are. So if I'm going somewhere and I'm in that my big old town where I took down places, I'm I'm struggling. Where these, I'm just you know paddling. But this one definitely, when you're when you're paddling, you can feel it just go through the water easier. You can cut a little bit easier. Go it glides a little bit bit easier. So right now, two for the Sholey, two for the RVR. Last one. Fishability, and that's a thing that you know Chad Hoover always says, and 
and I've, I've heard other people say that, but which one am I, you know, has is better for fishing out of? And I'm gonna have to go with the RVR. I like the room in the front. I feel like I have more room for my rods. I I think I have a more room back here. I like the space under the seat. Um, not a big difference. This one is fine. Man. So that's five to, or that's three to two. But if I only had one of these kayaks, I feel like I would still choose the Sholey. So that's how close they are. And that's not me trying to butter up anybody or, or just because I got these for free, I'm not, you know, I don't have to say anything good about one company or the other. I'm just giving my honest opinion because people are going to ask, people want to know, I've been in these kayaks, I've, I've been able to do stuff and go down you know, rivers and streams and creeks and lakes and honestly, it, it's really up to you. They're, they're about as close as you can get for two river kayaks with totally different way they're designed. And that's my take. I've been wanting to do this for a little bit and um, that's it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Also, I'd love to hear any kind of things that you're looking for in a true river kayak, almost like a creek kayak, something like skinny water. But also, they're taking these and putting motors on them and like running across the rivers and lakes and stuff too. So it's very versatile, but the main thing they're, you know, they're really built for is that skinnier, like narrow passageway, um, a lighter kayak getting into places. And, and if you think this is heavy, this is actually, this is light. If you want like a 50 pound kayak, they're usually, there's going to be a reason it's 50 pounds. You won't be able to stand or it won't be like for a big guy like me, you know, a six, four, um, I've been in some small kayaks and they just don't feel comfortable at all where these still are fine for big people and, um, can also get them where you want to get them. So that's my take on it.